After the celebrations, John asked Blue Team to enjoy themselves for their hard work. As he prepares to leave for Operation Beat Down with him joining Fire Team Wildcat along with Cal. As he leaves the teams, Kelly, John, where are you going? John, to lead a strike with Team Wildcat, we're gonna solve a major issue in the straw. Linda, okay, get some rest after, you owe us. John, got it. He leaves not knowing what he just agreed to. Cal was waiting on the pelican. Cal, John, we got the supplies you asked for. John, good, I needed to make an impression. Fernando, hey chief, guess I'm your taxi again. John, don't even joke, you're my friend. Then they speedily made their way to Mistral. Later near a certain camp. Nicole, was the intel solid? Daisy, yeah, I got eyes on the camp. There's a good number of them. Mackenzie, did you really have to dislocate that girl's hips? Daisy, got to make sure she doesn't run back and alert the tribe. Then they heard snapping twigs behind them and saw two more Spartans. Echo 216 dropped them off a few miles back to avoid alerting the enemy while the two walked the rest of the way. Daisy, 117. John, 023. What's the situation? Daisy, it seems they're preparing for another raid. Possibly some nearby village. John, we can't let that happen. Mackenzie, so what's the plan? Daisy, ask him he's leading this OP. John, shock and all. I'm going in first, surround the camp and prevent any escape. If possible, ID the leader and relay the info immediately. Daisy, roger that, you heard the man. Nicole, if you don't mind, sir? John, speak freely. Nicole, what's your entry point? John, simple, the front gate. Later in the camp. Raven, where's Vernal? Shay, to know she hasn't returned from her scouting run. Then they heard a voice in a loudspeaker at the gates. John, from the words of a dear friend of mine, this is a 1,000 pounds of HE spewing divine intervention. Then the gates blew open with a large explosion killing a good bunch of bandits. Raven, what is that? They all looked to the front gate and saw the same one who attacked them at Shine. But it was a bit taller. Bandit one. It's the demon those white fan guys were talking about from the news. Bandit two. He's just one guy. We can take him. Bandit three. But look at all those weapons. John, this is your only warning. Surrender or die. Half of the bandit tribe began laughing. Then multiple shots rang around them as Team Wildcat pounced their prey. Bandit 4 were surrounded. They began shooting at the Spartans to their dismay their bullets just bounced off their shields. 
as their weapons are not even close to standard Atlassian equipment. Bandit 5, it's not working. Raven, grow a pair and fight. They charged the Spartans. Mackenzie began shredding them with her heavy machine gun. While Nicole was dealing with some of them hand to hand with her energy sword. Some bandits were hiding behind cover but was easily countered by Daisy with her. Rail gun. Bandit 3, these guys are demons. Then someone was behind him. Kel, you got that right. She then swung her hammer and sent him to a group knocking them down like bowling pins. Then a hail of bullets rained on the fools from John shoulder mounted. Auto cannon. Then he raised his arms and let loose rapid fire machine guns killing off many bandits. Then John was struck with a huge pillar of ice but his bubble shield activated and negated the attack. He looks to his new opponent and saw Yang but with black hair. Raven, who are you? John, I'm just a man and the people who tolerate you on a daily basis are the real heroes. Raven, those people are just weaklings unworthy of anything. It's the law of the world. The strong live and the weak die. John, everyone's entitled to act stupid once in a while, but you're really abusing the privilege. Raven snarls as she lunges at Master Chief. Jaune exo armor purge. Interface, please execute voice command. John, remember reach. Then the MKI auxiliary armor opened up and Chief charged at the bandit queen. She swung her blade as John deflects it with his energy sword. Jaune, U. That thing is made of sturdy stuff. Cortana record this battle so we can study which weapons are good for what scenario. Cortana, on a chief, I suggest you pay attention before she gives you a mean haircut. John ducks from a slash aimed for his head. Raven then kicks John in the gut which did nothing but she used the momentum to jump away from him before he could retaliate. Raven, pretty tough when you're in armor, not quite fair is it? John, nothing is fair in life, especially war. Raven, did Ashpin send you? John, no, but when I heard about it, you had reminded me to take out the trash. Raven, did he tell you we could win now that he has people like you? Don't fool yourself, we can't win against her. John, there are worse things than her. And I have dealt with them. But we can't have you messing things up even more. He then used his thrusters to charge again, but unlike other times, he combined it with his adaptive camouflage. Raven was shocked at the advancement of this enemy as she used her maiden powers to cause a small storm to draw out John. Small lightning bolts flew in all directions. One of them hit the chief which did small amounts of damage and knocked out his camouflage. Cortana, chief energy surge messed up and shut down your camouflage unable to activate it again.
Shield, 68%. John then drew Spike Grenade. John, she should have enough aura to tank this. Kel took a pot shot at her, distracting her. He then sprints towards her and jumps, tackling her to the ground. Raven was able to kick the chief of, or so she thought, he just jumped away. When she stood up she noticed a drag in her kimono and saw a weird club with spikes attached to it. Asterisk bom asterisk. When the smoke cleared she was still standing covered in soot and her aura no longer active. John walked up to her and poked her in the head then she lands on the dirt. John, Wildcat, status report. Daisy, all clear chief, most of the bandits are dead. Mackenzie, some have surrendered. John, move on to acid denial. Nicole, roger that chief. Then they loaded up the prisoners as they set fire to the camp. Beacon. John, Team Wildcat deliver the prisoners to Vale's prison and get some rest you earned it. The team then salutes and walks away. Daisy elbowed Cal to go with John. Cal then followed John as he was welcomed back to a still and going party in Beacon. Kelly, Chief Khmer. Linda, you still got a debt to pay. Chief was then dragged of somewhere by Kelly, Linda, and Cal. The next day. I don't know how to write smut and I'm not going to. Don't want to lose a few brain cells for it so you guys make your own story from your warped minds. Here's a cute Cal for you. Sam were in the mess hall along with Noble Team. Carter, hey look at the chief. Cat, what's wrong with him? Six, man and I thought I don't get a lot of sun. Jorge, he looks half dead. June, don't even joke about that. Fred then spots Kelly, Linda and Cal. Frederick, hey guys look it's Kelly, Linda and Cal. Cat, hey they're practically glowing. Six, yeah and those dumb smiles on their faces. Sam, a ship, Chief just got. Then a dagger embedded on the table in front of them. They saw Chief with a menacing glare with all the remaining strength he could muster. John, it's too early for the ship. The Beacon crew enters the mess hall and saw our sight. John was practically looking like he died and has one of his friends, Sam, in a headlock while the other Spartans are cheering. Note to self, be careful of wildcats, they will give you hell.